Paul Stephen Bostaff is a heavy metal drummer currently performing for the thrash metal band Slayer. His drumming career began in 1984, when he was 20 years old, and he has since worked with bands like Forbidden, Exodus, Systematic, and Testament. Metal-Rules.com describes Bostaff as a true professional and one of the best drummers on today's metal music scene. Biography equals Early years equals Bostaff's first interest was to play bass guitar but he decided to play drums because he found a drum kit cheaper than a bass. He approached rock music listening to the Beatles and the Beach Boys but ACDC got him into rock drumming. He bought his first drum kit at 15 and, after listening to Killers by Iron Maiden, he wanted to become a metal drummer. Other influences include bands like Yellow, Blue Easter Cult and Black Sabbath. His biggest drumming inspirations are Phil Rudd, Clive Burr, Tommy Aldridge, Nico McBrain, Cozy Powell, Jeff Porcaro, Steve Smith, Dave Lombardo, and Tommy Lee. Bostaff attended Newark Memorial High School, in Newark, California. He had a strong dislike to his schooling years as he thought, I felt I had enough to get me through everyday life, why do I need more? He was interested in sports and towards the end of his first year, his interest in music began, and he got a job which took priority over his schooling. Equals Forbidden Equals, Bostaff played drums for Forbidden from 1985 to Euro 1992, playing on their first two studio albums, Forbidden Evil and Twisted Into Form. He also played on their 1989 live EP Raw Evil, Live at the Dynamo. He is regarded as their most prolific permanent drummer to date. Bostaff had joined the band First Strike equals Slayer and Solo Project equals, following the departure of Slayer drummer Dave Lombardo in 1992, the band was looking for a new drummer. Lombardo's drum tech was filling in but constantly made errors. After auditioning several drummers and listening to hundreds of demo tapes, Bostaff was recommended by Slayer guitarist Kerry King's guitar technician. Slayer members listened to Forbidden Records, however, they did not see how Bostaff could fit into the Slayer momentum a Euro Lombardo style being over the top, while Forbidden was more melodic. Slayer auditioned Bostaff with nine songs, and he made only one error on Angel of Death. Bostaff had to continually practice to improve the strength of his hands and feet. I respected and loved Dave's drumming but as a fan, if they got a new drummer and I bought a ticket to a show, I would expect to hear the stuff that Dave does, that's what I would want. So, I went in and every time I had to learn a new song I would play them exactly how Dave played them. Bostaff recorded four albums with Slayer. His least favorite is 1994's Divine Intervention. This is due to the guitars not being loud enough as they were in the recording session, moving around to several recording studios, and a producer who had never done any heavy metal music. The producer changed near the end of recording to Toby Wright a Euro Bostaff stating that record never had any consistency to it although a lot of fans still like it. Bostaff left the band in 1996 to concentrate on his solo project, Truth About Seafood, and was replaced by John Dett. However, he returned in 1997. His second favorite album is 2001's God Hates Us All. The whole era that I was with the band that was the album that was the most well-rounded and mixed the best with Diabolus in Musica. Bostaff departed from Slayer after the release of God Hates Us All, following a chronic elbow injury he had sustained that would hinder his ability to play. His third last performance with the band is recorded on the DVD War at the Warfield recorded on December 7, 2001. Bostaff is yet to watch it as he feels it's like breaking up with a girlfriend and needs to move on with his life. He remained friends with Slayer members, and when asked if he would work with them in the future, he replied sure. Bostaff was temporarily replaced by original Slayer drummer Dave Lombardo, which later proved to be a permanent arrangement until 2013, when the band announced he has replaced Lombardo for the second time. Equals systematic equals, unwilling to give up music? Bostaff joined Systematic in 2003 a Euro a band which he had previously formed with vocalist Tim Narducci and guitarist Adam Ruppel before recording Slayer's Diabolus in Musica. Bostaff introduced the band to Slayer's manager a Euro Rick Sales a Euro to help the band gain notice. As the band needed a drummer in 2003, 
Bostaff was willing to help out. Bostaff toured with Systematic for four months, although departed in 2004 stating, I wasn't a Euro unregistered trademark T having very much fun and eat a Euro unregistered trademark S not for me. In 2003 Bostaff sustained an injury to his knee, while playing soccer. After finishing Systematic's tour, Bostaff underwent surgery a year or not touching a drum kit for over a year until he received a phone call from Exodus members. Equals Exodus equals, Bostaff received a phone call from Exodus manager, who asked him to join the band. Exodus bassist Jack Gibson talked to guitarist Gary Holt if they should recruit Bostaff a Euro Holt knew Bostaff while Exodus toured with Forbidden, as both bands were from the San Francisco Bay Area. When Bostaff received the phone call, two members had already left Exodus, and drummer Tom Hunting was thinking about leaving. Bostaff knew how to play all the records except for Impact is Imminent, and recorded drums on the band's 2005 album Shovelheaded Kill Machine. Bostaff asserts the album is different from the band's previous albums. It's so different because Bonded was such a landmark record, such a great record for Te Euro. I watched the band the whole time and I think this is a more, probably, the most brutal record the band has done since Bonded by Blood. Bostaff also says the chemistry between members was very different, due to three out of five members being replaced in one year. It's a totally different band than before. The band toured for over a year promoting Shovelheaded Kill Machine, and wished to enter the recording studio to record another as soon as possible. However, on March 28, 2007, Bostaff announced that he parted ways with Exodus. They now have their original drummer Tom Hunting back in the band. I always said from the start if Tom ever wanted to come back, the drum throne is his. I have the greatest respect for Tom and his playing. Bostaff also announced he is no longer endorsing TAMA drum kits, and is proud to represent Drum Workshop and their products. Equals Testament Equals, Testament's official website announced Bostaff rejoined the group in October 2007. The formation of Damnation was the first Testament studio album of all new material in nine years, and the first to feature Alex Skolnick on guitar since 1992's The Ritual. Also the first to feature bassist Greg Christian since 1994's Low was released on April 29, 2008. This is also the first full-length Testament studio album to feature Paul Bostaff on drums. This album was awarded the 2008 Album of the Year by the Metal Hammer Awards. In June 2011, Testament began recording their next studio album, entitled Dark Roots of Earth, expected to be released on April 27, 2012. However, due to a serious injury, Paul was not involved in the recording sessions. Gene Hoglan filled in for him. He was expected to rejoin Testament when they toured to support the album. However, frontman Chuck Billy stated in December 2011 that Bostaff has left the band again. Equals other projects equals, Bostaff is also a member of a tribute band called Hail. Hail. S rotating cast of members include Andreas Kisser. Tim Ripper Owens, David Alefson, Mike Portnoy, Jimmy DeGrasso, and Roy Morga. Ripper, DeGrasso, Alefson, and Kisser formed the band in late 2008. The band toured Europe in 2009 and in June 2010. Hale is on their second European tour with the following lineup Andreas Kisser, Tim Ripper Owens, Paul Bostaff, and James Lo Menzo. Due to the death of announced bassist Paul Gray, Lo Menzo agreed on only one day's notice to fly to Portugal and rescue the Rock in Rio festival where Hale was scheduled to perform on May 30, 2010. Equals return to Slayer equals, on May 30, 2013, Slayer announced via their official Facebook page that Paul Bostaff had returned once again to replace longtime member Dave Lombardo behind the kit on a full-time basis. He is featured on Slayer's 11th studio album Repentless. Discography. References. External links. Official website.